In this video, we're just going to have a look at how you can customize your oxygen interface. Uh, maybe just make it uh, the way that you like it. So there are a couple of things that I, I don't really enjoy. So one of them was all these um, hover effects. So for example, here, if you move your mouse, now you can't see what's below that, and you have to keep moving your mouse out the way. And sometimes I found that you might have two or three of these open at the same time. So I wanted to get rid of those um, page container widths. The other thing um, that I wanted to get rid of or get away from were these um, hover effects where if you moved your mouse now, you can't edit in that block until you move your mouse out the way. So I didn't like the way that it covered, but I did like the way that you had this uh, indicator here on the left-hand side. That's really useful. And then the other thing that I wanted to change is these icons take up a lot of space which leads to a lot more scrolling and it's really so busy that i can't see the value of the icon it's there's just too much even on the woocommerce um yeah so i just wanted to clean it up a bit so what i've done is i've cleaned up the interface now so when you hover here you don't see the um the little buttons or the hover effects um on any of the hovers also when you say add element here it would say add element. Um, I didn't need to add element anymore. And then also when I go into the different sections now, so you'll see here in the basics, I just have the text. So in the basics here, you'd have to scroll, um, especially if you wanted to get, you know, like to the code block, which is something I use quite often. So the nice thing now is I don't need to do that anymore. Under helpers, um, you'll see here we just scroll for the last couple of lines, whereas here you scroll to get the whole section in. I also didn't like these purple um, icons. I just thought they were distracting. So I've also um, removed those. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it that I've done um, at the moment. So whether you're using a third party plugin or whether you're using something that is part of Oxygen, you will see now that there are no more <clears throat> icons. So that's just something that I've done um, to, to clean up the interface. Um, I prefer to work with it like this. Of course, then you can make other changes that you would like. Um, and basically what I have I did in order to, to do this is basically just editing the CSS. And then to avoid having to update the style sheet every time oxygen updates um, i found this piece of code on dev design and um, you'll see that what this does basically then is allow you to include your own um, css and so by including your own css you can then overwrite the oxygen css works really well and the nice thing is you can just turn this on and off as you require um, of course, if you wanted to add something else, um, you would be able to come in simply select it as you would normally. Um, so if I wanted to change um, the background color here, for example, and not something that I, I want to change, but let's say I wanted to change that. So let's um, select that element and let's just say background um, red just for um, demo purposes, then I would then just be able to copy that. I'd head over to the CSS, paste that in. Um, the only important thing that you really need to remember, um, or that seems to be added often, is this body tag. Um, I haven't really added it here because these div tippy I don't think anybody else will be using that as an ID. And this is for the mouse overs that run across the top of the screen. Um, and then here, so we've added our background of red. I'm going to save that and activate. And then, of course, to see the changes take effect, it's a case then of reloading oxygen. Oxygen loaded. Let's have a look. And there you can see. The red has taken effect. If I then head over to my snippets and let's say I don't want to uh, use this anymore, it goes back to the default layout. So, yeah, well, I hope you found that um, interesting and useful. And so, yeah, go ahead and uh, customize your interface any way that you prefer. Um, it's really quite easy now that you can 
access the CSS. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the code will be in the comment below the video. Thank you for watching.